Example 8 from Order of Operations. Again, we see this complex fraction. We need to simplify everything that's in that before moving to any other part of the expression. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is rewrite the 25 divided by five. And then as I look at this fraction, I wanna simplify what's here. So I have the 16 plus eight, which will be written as 24. Negative two squared is gonna be positive four plus eight minus three sevenths. I'll continue to simplify this fraction. So on the next line, I'm gonna call it 25 divided by five times 24 over 12 minus 3 sevenths. Continually look for that opportunity to simplify the problem. With a fraction of 24 twelfths, most simply that could be written as two. And so I'll rewrite this as 25 divided by five times two minus 3 sevenths. The next step, we want to just follow through here. Remember, multiplication and division are in an equal playing field, so you want to do whoever comes first in the problem. 25 divided by 5 is 5 times 2 minus 3 sevenths. 5 times 2, of course, is 10, and we have our 10 minus 3 sevenths. There's no need to turn this 10 into 70 sevenths. You're looking for a common denominator. It's much easier just to use that borrowing idea that we talked about earlier. And so the first thing I want to do is transform this 10 into an equivalent statement. I'll call it 9 and 7 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. Now all I have to do is work with that fractional part. And so 7 sevenths minus 3 sevenths would produce 4 sevenths and the whole number nine comes straight down. Final answer, nine and four sevenths. And this is example eight from order of operations.